Today, I'll be having a go at casting this whole cream in silver using Soriatek True Blue Castable Resin. I'll also be giving away five bottles. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, in this video, I'll be providing yet another castable resin user guide. And this time, I'll be focusing on Soriatek True Blue. I'm going to be casting this incredible Hulk character ring. And no, I didn't design it. It's actually a model by Wicked 3D, and they very kindly gave me permission to turn it into this ring, which was a fairly easy process using ZBrush. Soriatek True Blue is a little more challenging to print than its purple predecessor, the Purple Cast. Due to its higher wax content, it's a little more fragile. But, of course, many folks favour a higher wax content in their castable resins, as they feel it burns away much more cleanly. As with all resins, it needs to be dialed in properly. And make sure you do this without anti-aliasing, which is a common mistake made when running calibration prints. I always recommend one or two good thick supports, to properly anchor the print to the plate. And the bigger and heavier the print, the more of these I recommend. But once those are in place, medium and light supports will work fine. I tend to add a lot of fine supports, as this helps prevent sagging, which is a common enough occurrence in resins with longer exposure times. I used the Anycubic D2 DLP with these settings and full anti-aliasing. When it comes to jewellery, I prefer the precise detail DLP gives me. This resin is quite viscous. To combat this, it ideally needs to be between 25 to 35 degrees Celsius whilst printing, so an enclosure heater may well be required unless you live in a warm climate. But even with warm resin, you do need to keep the lift speed low. Soriatek recommend 50mm per minute, though I've never personally had issue with 60mm per minute. As I said, True Blue is a little fragile, so do be careful removing prints from the plate. Cleaning prints can be tricky as this is a fairly thick and gooey resin. Don't ruin your detail with long stints in a cleaning fluid. Instead, take a soft, dry brush and gently brush over the entire area. This efficiently sops up most of the excess resin. Just rub the brush on a paper towel occasionally to remove any excess. And keep going until you can clearly see the print and the supports. Now is the ideal time to remove these supports. I clip my supports away, as ripping them can cause damage that just needs to be repaired later. So a couple of minutes clipping saves time in the long run. More brushing helps remove bits of clipped resin as well as the remaining uncured stuff. Now it's time for conventional cleaning in IPA or ethanol. Personally, I recommend an ultrasonic cleaner as these are very effective and require only 30 seconds. Any more than that, and there's a chance you're going to wear away that fine detail on your print. From the alcohol solution, blast the print dry with one of these cheap mini airbrushes. They do a great job and remove the excess in seconds, though wearing a mask is a must. You'll notice how the print actually turns a lighter colour, but with this resin, that doesn't last. It has to be said though, it's a gorgeous print and a fabulous design. Set it aside for 10 minutes to allow the alcohol to fully evaporate. Then UV cure as you would any other print. It needs to be fully cured. And as none of us really know what that means, I cure very well, usually around 30 minutes, rotating the print if necessary. And I even take longer than this on thicker pieces. Unlike purple cast, you'll notice that I'm not using glycerin. From a purist viewpoint, glycerin is actually better. But in honesty, 
I've had no trouble curing True Blue in this way. Perhaps it's the extra wax. Once cured, check for imperfections and fill in any flaws with castable wax. Then sprue as normal. As you can see, firstly, True Blue takes wax sprues very well. And secondly, I'm not very good at wax sprueing. Then it's just casting as normal. And before the reveal, let's get back to the giveaway. Soraya Tech have very kindly offered to give away five bottles of True Blue Castable Resin to my viewers. Entry is completely free to anyone covered by these postal regions. All you need to do to enter is add a comment below this video saying, Gimme True Blue. You can say whatever else you like in the comment, but it will help me spot your entry if you say this phrase first. Winners will be chosen at random and I'll contact them via these same YouTube messages. So do look out for them. The draw will take place in approximately 30 days. So don't hang around. And there you have it. Casting with Sorotech True Blue. It's affordable, easily available through Amazon and it works. I'm really pleased with this one. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and thanks for watching.